Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4, and today we're going to be talking about the massive news that has been dropped over the past few days, so if you do go on to enjoy this video and this does help you out, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. Okay, so we've got some good and we've got some bad news, so we're going to be breaking this all down, and I just am here to tell you guys, don't worry, don't go crazy, although I'm a little upset. So according According to TV Line and various other sources, Jeremy Jordan, who plays Winshot, is going to be reduced to a recurring character during Season 4 of Supergirl. So as you know, Win and Jeremy have been series regulars since the show started. He's been in basically all the episodes and, you know, he hasn't had that much screen time. He's only had two main episodes and so as you guys know, he's a big Broadway star. He loves doing stage work and so it seems like with him losing that series regular rank, I think think it's more his own decision because he loves Broadway and with him getting you know five you know maybe a few more minutes than five minutes per episode I don't think it's worth it for him to actually stay in Vancouver for over nine months of the year as you guys probably could agree he could have so many more chances on Broadway doing all these shows all year long and living in New York so that is what happened recently with the actor who plays Martin Stein he actually went off to Broadway he didn't want to stay in Vancouver for nine months per year and so that was why he was written off Legends of Tomorrow but for Win, he's going to be a recurring character next season so in season four so don't worry Jeremy loves the show I actually got to talk to him the other day when I was at an event in England he's really excited for the crossover this year so that means he'll probably be in the crossover so don't worry about that there'll be some awesome win stuff he really wants win to meet Cisco and Felicity so look forward to that I'm sure that's gonna happen I think they're just going to instead of going with the Floriana Lima route with her being written out and just appearing in the first few episodes I think what's happening with win and Jeremy is that Jeremy is going to be in New York for most of the year doing Broadway shows and stuff like that and he's going to be regularly actually coming up to Vancouver because it's not that far from New York he lives in New York and then goes to Vancouver shoots a few scenes for a few episodes comes back does the crossover and basically just does a few scenes every now and again and it won't seem too much difference considering Wynn doesn't get that much screen time if you actually think of it but you know I'm really excited for what he's going to be doing but it's kind of sad that he's not going to be a series regular. I wish he just had more screen time and, you know, maybe they can work that in later down the line in season 5 or season 6. I think he will go back to a series regular at some point if he really wants to. There's definitely the option for that. But moving on to the next thing, Jesse Raff, who plays Brainiac 5, has been upgraded to a series regular for season four. So I have to explain this. Part of this actually really excites me, but part of it doesn't as so much and it's just due to the fact that this season we didn't really get to see him that much and I've got to admit I'm not the biggest fan of Brainiac 5 I think Jesse does a good job I don't think he's anything too special for the show so when I initially saw this I was like okay sure right that's pretty cool I guess but I don't know but the thing that excites me about it is there's going to be more Legion of Superheroes storylines and I just hope they don't go down the Brainiac 5 and Kara route fingers crossed they don't because I don't think that will work for the TV show but like I said what excites me is the Legion of Superheroes stuff because that can set up the idea that there is more Legion of Superheroes who can join the show considering that if Brainiac 5 is going to be around a lot more I want to see some of those other Legion of Superheroes members that we haven't met so far all we've had so far is mon -El, Imra and Brainiac 5 and hopefully we get Imra recurring throughout next season I think that'll be really awesome I really did like her this season contrary to a lot of people who actually really hate her but that's just my opinion so I'm hoping for more Legion of Superheroes stuff I hope even if the rumors are true about Chris I think he will be in the same role as Wynn and Jeremy I don't think he's gonna be just cut off the show if he does choose to reduce his role I think he will be a recurring character we'll go through that if they release any information or if the information we've got is wrong hopefully that's true hopefully Chris is a regular from one hour in season four we can just keep our fingers crossed for that but I'm excited for the Legion of Superheroes stuff I really do hope they crack down on those storylines and like I said earlier it's a shame that Jeremy is only going to be a, a recurring character next season but I totally understand as to why he would actually choose to be a recurring character I don't think it's the show actually forcing that on him due to the fact that he's been such a big character for such a long time and they love his character I just think it's Jeremy Jeremy's choice. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.
to service like shot free.